Okay, start off by opening an internet browser. Google Bob Pearson. The first one is bobpearson.net. Go onto there, you'll see a downloads tab. Now flick down the page, it's alphabetically ordered, and there is Switch. This is the program that you will use to convert your iTunes music into MP3. So click on that, just come down, save the file, and then it will either be saved on the desktop, or it saves in my downloads folder, so you open containing folder. You can see I've downloaded it before. So you click the setup and run it. Come up with a license agreement. Agree to that. It doesn't take too long to install. Uh, you can install some of these. These are good pieces of software, but I'm not going to right now. And then Switch will open up like that. This is the program itself. Um, now I'm going to go to Add Folder. And then in there, you go to My Documents, My Music, iTunes. So My Documents, My Music, iTunes, iTunes Music, and then in there will be a list of the artists. I've only got one. That's Corn and their album Follow the Leader. I'm just using this to demonstrate. So you click OK, and because I added folder, it added all the songs in that folder. But if you want to add just one file, you can click that. Now what you do is you select the ones you'll, you want to convert. So I'm going to convert them all. And I'm going to select the format. Wait, I'm going to move that up. The format will be MP3, but you can choose from any of these other ones. They're all it's all good, it's really flexible. Now as you see I've selected all of them. My output folder is in my music, but you can change the output folder, you can create a new folder like iTunes converted, whatever, and then you just click convert. Okay, now they're all converted. Uh, one of the great advantages of this program is that you can change it to any format, just remember that, and it's just great flexibility being able to do that. Um, so it saves them all to there. Now that they have finished converting, you can go to My Music. So here are the four MP3 songs. As you can see, they are definitely in MP3. So there it says MP3 audio. So what you could do now is you can just keep them there, or you can create a new folder, which is what I'm going to do with the artist and album name. Um, I mean the disadvantage is, is it doesn't name the artists because the actual file is named of the songs because that's what iTunes does but it's not too hard to do that. Uh, this program can do as many files as you want. I did about 800 my whole iTunes. It took four hours but it did it. It was really good. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. This was a Hamza production.